Hey, what's good, viewer? This is Spanky. Today I've got the Mega Sceptile Evolutionary Set. This is another trainer's choice, exclusive to Toys R Us only. The box is displayed very well. I like the way everything's laid out here. Turn it around. You see some great art back here. I really like the, I think it's called Embroded art here at the Pokeballs. You can actually feel it. It's raised up. So the design is really, really nice. I like it a lot. But that's enough talk about the box. Let's get to the figures and open it up. I swear these things are locked up harder than freaking Fort Knox. All the tape and everything I just had to undo. Ah, just had to vent my frustration. Anyways, this little box here, it came in the box. Well, this box came in the box. And now it's outside of the box. I just like to pull this out because I like the way it reflects the figures. And I'm actually going to use this to display my figures from now on. So it's really cool that they added this in there. And one thing to note off the back is that they are clearly not to scale figures. He's supposed to be 6 feet tall, or Mega Sceptile is supposed to be 6 feet tall, and Trico is only supposed to be, let's see, 1 foot 8 inches according to this card. And uh, speaking of cards, they all each come with their own little card. It tells you like their stats here. Let's look real quick at Mega Sceptile's card. It says their weight in meters, or it says their weight in kilograms and their height in meters as well as feet in pounds tells you that they're water and grass type or actually he's grass and dragon I'm sorry I just assumed it was water because it was blue and on the back it just says what region they're from and his name in different languages so I'm just gonna work my way up the evolutionary chain here first we'll start with Trico I really like the design of this figure he looks like a lot of fun I like the colors everything looks really well molded I'm not seeing those nasty product codes anywhere so this would be in my opinion like the perfect figure because usually Tomy has stamped these nasty product codes I bet she's gonna be under his tail yep even this one under his tail it's not that visible why can't they do that all the time now we got Grovile here I like his pose it's a little little something different what I don't like is that I'm gonna complain about it stop doing that Tomy it's stupid it's ugly now I can never display it from the back or I can never take pictures of it from the back because of the stupid ugly product code. Um, like I said before, I do like his display. I like the way his little leaf is coming off his head here. He stands well. No real complaints about the mold or about the paint. Here's Sceptile here posing. Not sure what this pose is supposed to be. His arms kind of just sticking out. Not sure what's going on with that, that mold. The paint looks alright. They hid the product code pretty well kind of uh, you can kind of see it right there it's pretty ugly but it's not bad at least they hit it a little bit they put it on both sides which kind of stinks so now now I can't display it from either side now they've given me no choice on that but everywhere else looks okay actually this is probably my least favorite figure of the set because of the product code and just his pose I mean he's not really what is he doing resting his arm on something so I'm not a big fan of the septile figure right here at all Last, but most certainly not least, we have Mega Sceptile here. This is a really, really, really nice mold. Unfortunately, this is more of a uh, personal preference. He does look like a freaking Christmas tree, uh, which it's accurate to the design in the show and the cartoon or and the game, but it's unfortunate that they decided to make him look like a Christmas tree. I guess in Japan, they don't really care, you know because they don't celebrate Christmas really, I mean, I'm sure some of them do, but you know, it didn't come to mind. If it was made by Americans, then they probably would have taken that into consideration, but it's not made by Americans, so then in a boo-boo stick my head and doo-doo. His legs are articulated, his arms are not, his tail is not, only his legs are articulated. I don't have a problem with this pose, it's nice and simple, uh, it's nothing really too crazy, but it gets the job done. Simple is better than whatever the heck this is. Overall, I really do like this set. I think the Mega Swampert pack was a little bit better, but this one still holds its own weight. It's good for what it is. I like all the designs for the most part, except for his. This one had more ugly product codes on it. Other than that, I'm just really happy that they're finally doing these Mega sets. I hope that they continue this trend. I didn't see any Mega Blaziken sets, which is really unfortunate, but hopefully they'll keep doing more regions and get to the X and Y stuff. You watch my other review, I did the Mega Swampert pack as well. That's also a TRU exclusive. Well, that's all I got for today, guys. We really do appreciate you watching. 
Have a good day. Peace out.